channel. My name is Ronalyn Nightbow, and for all my new subscribers, aloha and welcome. So if you went ahead and saw the thumbnail, you know that this girl's been busy making some Easter baskets. Now Jim, who is the district manager for FunFactoryGames.com, works at an establishment where every Easter, they go ahead and do an Easter egg hunt. So along with that, they like to go ahead and do giveaways. And part of their giveaways at their store is that they love going ahead and making Easter baskets and going ahead and having the customers come in, fill up an entry blank. Uh, these are just some of the small baskets that we go ahead and make. So I thought, go ahead and share with you some of the techniques and everything. I'm gonna have to actually remove my camera off of the tripod and go ahead and film this from the opposite end. So, because these baskets are so big, I mean, look how big it is. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, they're kind of, just as tall as me sitting on the couch here. So we have it all on the couch right there. So we have a purple, we have a green, we have a pink. I wanted to show you what it looks like far away because I'll be showing you a more up close version. We have a pink. Okay, let's see. We have a turquoise, we have a purple, and we're back to like a teal or turquoise. So we found the bottoms actually at Target. Let me go ahead and show you each of the baskets one at a time. Let's start off with the purple one. Okay, so the first one has a purple bottom, checkered, love that. Uh, if you have a lot of curly ribbon that's hanging around, you might want to go ahead and add that in first. That's the first thing I went ahead and did. If you go ahead and look underneath, we have it tightly bound. And I didn't want to go ahead and just put a purple ribbon because I wasn't sure um, who was going to end up uh, winning this Easter basket. So the first Easter basket is purple. The bottom is purple. You go ahead and get these um, inexpensive bottoms. Um, I go ahead and fill the bottom, maybe a portion here, uh, probably with either tissue paper or some paper sacks, and then the rest is just filled with toys. Any kind of toys. I try to go ahead and make these baskets uh, unisex with the exception of the pink one. That one's specifically just for a girl. But if I go ahead and put this one right here, you can tell that I went ahead and put some purple ribbon here and then went ahead and put a little bit of yellow and a little bit of pink in there. So I picked up the colors of the ribbon and went ahead and complimented the ribbon and added a few other toys and crayons and some color books that are on the inside. Each of these baskets probably weigh about seven to eight pounds. So they're not small baskets, they're really, really big baskets. So this is the first basket. Let me go ahead and put it there so you folks get a better idea of what it looks like. That's purple. For those of you who love purple, I know Miss Marlene out there. Mm -hmm. She loves her purple. Okay, that's the first one. Okay, so the second one that we have here is a mint green bottom. There we go. Mint green bottom. Um, I went ahead and found this uh, burlap ribbon so I thought I'd go ahead and use that because the burlap ribbon has a little bit of yellow pink and green I went ahead and put a splash of gold I mean you know gotta have bling even in our Easter baskets so that's the color of the ribbon there we go and again toys and accessories this one I went ahead and put a little fluffy tiara there because the toys on the inside is kind of unisex so the green and teal colored baskets are all unisex uh, baskets so if a boy or a girl ends up winning it'll be a mix of toys. We make these baskets big, so then that way, if for some reason only one child ends up winning in the family, they can go ahead and take it apart and basically share all these other goodies that we have in the basket with some of their other siblings. So this is the one in green. And of course, this huge pink one, which is uh, my favorite. You got a pink bottom at the bottom, checkered. There we go. This one, I went ahead and add a splash of uh, pink with silver and white on the ribbon, kind of mix it in. We have the cellophane that is covering the whole basket, along with some jump, jump rope at the bottom. There we go. This one does not have a tiara, but this is what the back of the basket looks like. I have it just with a little uh, slip knot in the back, so it's easy for them to go ahead and take up the ribbon, but that's the one in pink. I love that one, very festive. I'm trying to put it all in pastel colors, trying to keep it really simple, and I just love this pink one. Mm -hmm, don't you? Yeah, I love it. The next option that we have here is in like a, I wanna say like a teal or turquoise bottom. So when I went ahead and did that, I kind of ran out of turquoise ribbon. What I did with this turquoise basket is that I went ahead and 
put a little pink tiara, fluffy tiara on there. Okay, so this one is also a unisex basket. The green one and the blue one is whether a boy or a girl wins it. It doesn't really matter because um, I went ahead and picked up this pink ribbon. I think you saw it in one of my hauls when I said we're doing a like, little um, Easter giveaway. And I went ahead and added some green, added some turquoise, added some white to kind of zhuzh it up a little bit. And uh, that's the next Easter basket. I'm putting also some curly ribbon down at the bottom. Love, 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 love. So the fifth basket that we have here is another purple one, similar to the other purple one that you saw. The only difference is that one has a little tiara on the outside. There we go. This one has um, purple and pink ribbon with some curly ribbon um, in the front right there. Love it. And let me go ahead and show you the last one. So this last one is like my favorite. I mean, my favorite color is white, but then uh, turquoise is my second favorite color. So the bottom is turquoise. This one, I think, has a little pink tiara. Or I can't on the side. There we go. So that way they can go ahead and wear that. Now, if a boy ends up winning this, or he prefers getting the pink one for his sister or his mom, they can go ahead and do that. But with this one here, I went ahead and um, ordered some multicolored ribbon. This one is sort of like, I think it was supposed to be targeted more towards Christmas, but I thought it looked a little Easter with the blue, green, and pink. In there, added a little bit of turquoise ribbon with some cellophane on the top. And um, yeah, I kind of like it. What do you think? Yeah, just small little Easter baskets. Okay, let's go ahead and put this one down. And if you went ahead and saw my gift wrapping video, I'll be leaving that down in the description bar because I think I did one for Christmas. And I think I did one for, did I do one for Valentine's Day? I think I did one for Valentine's Day. So I'll be leaving that down in the description bar, but I thought, hey, why not go ahead and show you guys some of the Easter baskets that I go ahead and help Jim create. So he will go ahead and bring home the merchandise for me to go ahead and put together and bring home all of the stuff. I already have some of the ribbon here, some of the ribbon um, he goes ahead and uh, gets for me. I'll do some ribbon shopping with him. It took me about... I would say eight hours, eight or nine hours to go ahead and put those Easter baskets together because I also want to make sure that the Easter baskets are put together where they're sturdy, um, make sure they're not falling apart, making sure that when the kids are carrying it because we're going to suggest that they carry it from the bottom, okay? The, don't carry the Easter baskets from the top like this. Go ahead and carry it at the bottom when they're carrying it out. So they'll be really happy when they go ahead and win it. There we go. So this video was short, sweet, to the point. I apologize that it's not our... Uh, Saturday morning chat session. I wasn't sure whether where I was going to go ahead and stick this video But I thought hey, I know that uh, You folks are all getting ready for Easter So I wanted to go ahead and show you my version of how we go ahead and make an Easter basket and I had so much fun helping my fiance out helping him going ahead and coordinating ribbons and stuffing and these baskets will be going down to the store. These baskets away in a giveaway for drawing. When the kids get done fighting the A's, they'll be going ahead and giving these lovely baskets away. So I hope you had fun as I went ahead and shared with you some of the Easter basket tips and tricks that I go ahead and do when I'm creating my version of an Easter basket. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do so by clicking on that subscribe button. Don't forget to click on that notification bell because that'll keep you abreast when I go ahead and upload a video to the YouTube channel. So my name is Ronald Lynn Nightbull. What I want you to go ahead and do is to go out there, be bold, be beautiful. Don't forget to dress up and all the way from Hila, Hawaii, my name is Ronald Lynn Nightbull. Aloha. Bye-bye.